All right, continuing on while not raising our stats too high as per usual. I got mail. Whoa. Students. If you ever need artistic guidance, coursework tips, or a good old-fashioned shoulder to cry on, I'll be here two hours a day, three days a week, guaranteed. Hit me up by phone or at this address. I've got a feeling this is going to be a great year. And to everyone asking, my face mate profile is not for children. Gotta protect your developing minds in that. Hit me up in a couple of years. Back. So I just realized he has also has an H in his name. H. Pachaku. I wonder what. Hmm. I gotta check on Lamb. How upset are you with me, girl? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Lamb. I actually meant to check Rhett, too. Are we, like, full still? Okay. I mean, I'll take him to the park one more time, maybe, but then I'll go start going out alternating weeks or something. We'll try that. There pants. There we go. Let's go skating. Okay. Nothing else changed. Maybe when I do his true ending. Oof. Try that again. There we go. Oof. Uh, study? I haven't had to do studying in a long time. Whew. Just a couple more sentences and I'll finally be done with this bloody report. I guess I'm not the only one with coursework. I get the impression Lamb was here way before I dragged myself in. We've been sitting here in silence for at least an hour, but I guess it's not too awkward. She's pretty engrossed in her work, after all. The head of yours daughter, huh? Makes sense that she'd be dedicated to her studies, I guess. She must be under a lot of pressure, too. Hmm. And... finished. Probably not the best conclusion in the universe, but it does the job. And hey, just made the word count. Now to see if I can get it in Mackham's pigeonhole by four. Ugh, why is my bag so bloody heavy? Um, good luck, Lamb. Huh? Uh, with your coursework, I mean. I'm, you know, gonna go. Mmm. Oh? Huh? That bag is a Chevert, isn't it? Eh? Oh, this? Yeah, I really like his designs, and there was a sale on, so... Hmm. And she's working again. Well, that was random. Nice talking to you, Lamb, I guess. It's pretty late for us to get that scene with her, actually. Alright, let's go out this week. To the library. Oof. Well, that failed spectacularly. Um, hmm, where am I? Relax. That worked a lot better for us. Ugh. Well, I'm failing at club, which is the plan, right? <laughs> hey, Merle. Do you want me to walk you? Oh, okay. You know, I think the fun fair is going to be visiting soon. We should all go. Really? Sounds great. I used to love those. I haven't really been since last week. I mean, I was a kid, though. Aw, oh, you're missing out. We've been to the last couple. They're really great once you get over the fact that half the rides there could probably kill you. Yeah, I think that's probably part of the package. But what sort of rides do they have anyway? Oh, the usual. Waltzers, Dodgems. The only things anyone ever wants to go on are the coasters and the haunted house, though. They say some kid got shot in there one time, but the staff haven't been very forthcoming on the subject. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder why. Huh, shocking. Oh, and there's this massive carousel, too, if you're into that sort of thing. I don't know, it could end up being pretty romantic, I guess. Oh wow, one of the big old-fashioned ones? This is sounding like a pretty upmarket fair. Well, I'm sure we'll end up organizing something at some point. I think you'd really enjoy it. 
Sounds exciting. I wonder if we could get any of the guys to go. I wonder. It's gonna be weird going to like the fun fair with two different groups. But not unwelcome, I suppose. All right, Mr. Sugden. Let's try going on a date. I've been taking you to the arcade for a while. How about that? I'll even dress elegantly for you. Ack. All right, we'll play Undead Mission 4 again. All right, where are we? Do, 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 do. All right, makeup. And exercising. I'll probably stop all my stats at around 120 or so. Oh. Okay, so Cezanne was a post-impressionist painter who rocked the turn of the 20th century. And, uh... Oh. And he, uh, painted various women in hats and invented the cue? Ugh, this critical study is so dull. At least Beck seems to feel the same way I do. Is this really all you guys do, day in, day out? I thought I'd wandered into maths or something for a bit there. All this noses and textbook stuff is doing my head in. Why not break out the acrylics, go wild? Do something, at least. Well, we have to study at least three artists as part of our coursework, and you threw most of the art supplies into the storeroom, so... Oh. I'm not really a qualified teacher, so I'm only meant to be supervising you guys, but still. You need to live a little if you're going to create anything decent. All of this clinging to the past and sleeping with Picasso under your pillow isn't going to get you anywhere. What would you suggest we do instead, sir? You can't deny that the artists of the past have shaped the way we view art today. Even the techniques we take for granted have been painstakingly developed over the years. Are you suggesting we just ignore the history of art in its entirety? Huh. I'm guessing you're the resident art boffin. I'm just saying, think beyond the textbooks every once in a while. There's all sorts you're not likely to find in there. There's more to life than oil paints and missing ears, you know. Well, what sort of things would you recommend we look into, Beck? Uh, sir. Well, I might be a little biased, being in the industry and all, but I'd look into tattooing if you get the chance. Provided you want to broaden your horizons beyond dead Italian guys, that is. Tattoos. <laughs> no offense, but I fail to see how they relate to anything we're studying. This is a fine art course, after all. I couldn't imagine skulls, initials, and broken Chinese being in any way relevant. You think fine art doesn't relate to tattoo artistry. You don't think as much thought goes into a piece of art you're going to be wearing for the rest of your life. Generally speaking, no. Unless there's some unusually high-class tattoo parlor I've yet to hear about. <sighs> Scoff all you want. But I'm telling you, they're not so different. The way I see it, your skin is your god-given canvas, and you've only got the one. No repaints, no do-overs, nothing. So if you're going to get it painted, you'd better make damn sure your artist has the skills. Knows the techniques, you get me. But hey, I guess you kids probably aren't old enough for tattoos anyway. Fifteen, sixteen, was it? Seventeen. You? Now, now, gentlemen. I gotta side with my boo right now, Beck, though. I don't really know if tattoos are all that related to our coursework. It'd be pretty hard to do a critical study on a tattoo artist anyway. Are there even any well-known ones? And besides, we have to create our own version of the work we're studying. Hmm. Well, if you need a reference, I've got a perfectly good tattoo you could study right up close. I might not have this job long if I show it to you, though. <sighs> I'll have that textbook when you're done with it, Beret. Huh. I may joke about it, but Beck seems pretty passionate when it comes to tattoos. Oh yeah, he loves them tattoos. If I have to fight Mercedes off with regards to Rhett, that's gonna be... entertaining? <laughs> Possibly. Alright. Mail again. Flea Market Mark II. 
In light of the success of our previous flea market, we are happy to inform you all that we will be hosting a second. Once again, the event will take place at North Main Central Library, this time on the 7th of February. Our items are now even lower in price, so there is no excuse for not stopping by. Plus, with Valentine's Day ahead of us, this might be the perfect time to pick up a gift for that special someone. We hope to see you all there. Lamb. 7th of February. That's today. Sure, why not? Let's go. Since she actually emailed us. After we had dissed her so badly at the fair. Oh, hey. Wasn't some sale or something supposed to be happening today? Ah, oh, Rosie. I thought I might see you before the day was over. I do hope you've come to browse our wares and not to study or some other nonsense. <laughs> study? When there are bargains to be had? I don't really know how far my budget will stretch, but you don't mind me taking a look, right? Hmm. Just so you know, demand has been rather fierce. As before, we've had to limit sales to one item per customer. But please, feel free to browse. Let's see here. Uh, what did I not buy last time? The MP3 player, I guess. Wow, this is so much cheaper than it is in the shops. And it's in great condition, too. I'll have to wear it out sometime. Hmm. Yes, I suppose that rather suits you. Do take care of it. What a bargain. Something this cool for less than half retail price. Can't wait to try this baby on. Wonder if that's the same MP3 player that Mary has won for us the one time. Oh, so long ago. Oh boy, we do have to fight off Mercedes. Wow, Beck. When you said you wanted me to meet your kids, I figured they'd be much younger. Some of these guys look older than me. Huh. Seems like there are new faces in here every day. Who knew art class was so popular? Huh. You really thought I'd have a bunch of little kids designing your tattoo. I mean, we could always pop down to lower school if you want. But I figured you were up to something a little... classier. Oh no, I ain't complaining. I'd have come down here sooner if I'd known. These guys are upper six, right? Because I'd ruin that redhead over there. Him. Hey, hey. I don't want you doing anything that'll get me fired, remember? Why don't you go over there and sharpen some pencils for me or something, huh? Spoil sport. Hey, Carrot Top. Mind showing me where you keep the supplies? Oh. What are we doing today anyway, Beck? You said something about designing a tattoo? Hey, Rosie, perfect timing. You're always up for a little challenge, right? Uh, I guess so? Huh, that'll do. I was thinking about that talk we had a while back. You guys learning everything from textbooks and the like. And I got to thinking. How about I get you guys a little practical artistic experience? I mean, what better way to learn, right? So I was talking to my, uh, friend, Mercedes here. And she was thinking about getting a tattoo done. I would usually design it myself, but I figure why not let you guys take a crack at it. Show you how much thought goes into this sort of thing. And hey, take some of the work off me, know what I mean. Wow, are you sure she'd be okay with it? I mean, I don't want to scar her forever or anything. Huh, <laughs> well, this is more practice than anything. I'm not going to tattoo her right here or anything. Just relax, get the creative juices flowing. Think of it as a piece of coursework. Only, you know, not as dull. And hey, you never know, you might end up with a taste for this sort of thing. It's kind of a rush, you know, designing something and have someone wear it around for the rest of their life. Nothing quite like it. Huh. Sounds like you do this sort of thing a lot. Hmm. Well, I'll be doing it a whole lot more once I graduate, hopefully. But yeah, you could say that. And hey, once you come of age, I'm hoping I'll see one of you guys at my tattoo parlor if I make it that far. You know, you never did tell me how old you were. The way you're looking at me, I'm afraid to. Okay, uh, I think I'm done. I'm not sure this is the kind of thing she'd want, though. Hey, like I said, there's no pressure. And hey, no one really designs anything decent the first, uh... Hmm. 
Uh, is it really that bad? I mean, I guess butterflies are a little cliche. I could always try something else. I just thought, you know, maybe it'd look okay as an ankle tattoo or something. Uh, well, it's not that. You know, this is actually really decent, Rosie. Great, even. I mean, you'd have to work on it a little, sure, but still. I'm really impressed. You've really never done this before. Um, nope. I was just going with whatever's fashionable, really, but I guess it paid off. Back? Are we done yet? This whole teaching thing is quaint and all, but I've got a shoot to get to. And the boys in this class are all such prudes. Could you stop harassing my students for five minutes and get over here? Rosie's managed to come up with a really great design for you. What do you think? As a jumping off point, anyway. It matched that anklet you're always wearing, right? Huh? Uh, it's okay, I guess. Don't they have, like, catalogs for this sort of thing, anyway? I'll just pick a design when I get to the tattoo place or whatever. Let's just get going already. Wait, what? You can't just decide this kind of thing in five minutes, you know. What did you think I brought you here for? Well, you know, I figured you'd want to show me off a little. But hey, if you really want to help me decide on a design, I could, you know, come over to yours later on and... Well, don't make me say it in front of the children. <laughs> well... Just go and wait for me in the car, okay? With pleasure. Oh. Sorry about that, Rosie. But I guess you've got to get used to unappreciative customers in the profession, too. It's an experience, if nothing else. Well, it was pretty fun to design anyway. Maybe I could use it for something else. Huh. That's the spirit. For what it's worth, I think you've got a real talent there, Rosie. Keep it up. Uh, will do. I don't know, though. Seems like being unappreciative is getting Mercedes pretty far. At least not with my boo. He was pure. He resisted her charms. Oh, a club scene. It's been so long. Oh, that's another day over. It's kind of annoying having to stay so late helping out. I guess I'd better get home and try and memorize some more lines. Ah, oh hey, that's right. I left my copy of the script in the theater. I wonder if it'll still be open at this time of night. And I can't really afford not to practice this evening. Well, it can't hurt to check, I guess. Hello? I wonder if Sugden will mind me coming back here. I mean, I guess it shouldn't really matter. I'm in here practicing most days. It's weird being back here when no one's around. Kind of creepy, to be honest. I'll just get my script and get out of- Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Dude, what happened to you? There's so much paint. R Rhett? Oh god, what's wrong with him? I is he breathing? What should I do? Rhett! Rhett! S speak to me! Oh god, I can't make out a pulse! Ugh. What are you screaming about? H huh? <laughs> Sorry, I read ahead to stop pinching me and I'm laughing now. Oh dear. And please, stop pinching me. Whatever you're trying to do, it's not helping. Well, what was I supposed to think with you lying in a pool of paint and everything? Hmm. <laughs> you're hilarious, Beret. Did you really think I was dead? It makes me wish I'd actually planned it, really. Har har. Next time I find you unconscious, I'm just going to leave you to it. That would probably be for the best, given the questionable skills you just demonstrated. What are you doing back here anyway? It's quite late, isn't it? Huh? Oh, I was just going to pick up my copy of the script. I left it here a while ago. What are you doing here? Besides frightening the life out of me. Hmm. I thought I might get a few more backdrops painted tonight, but I suppose I'm more tired than I thought. Still, I still have a few more hours until the last train, so I'd best get on with it. So, 
you painted all of these? I just assumed you were getting some of the art people to do it or something. I mean, they're really, really good. Well, thank you, Beret. But unfortunately, the art department are busy with their own projects. At any rate, I am an art student, and I see no reason why I shouldn't paint them by myself. Well, I mean, I'm an art student too. Not that your work isn't amazing on its own, but at this rate you won't be done for months. And I'm sure you've got loads of other work to be doing. Why don't I stick around and help you for a bit? I promise I won't mess things up too much. Ah, well. I wouldn't want to drag you down with me, Beret. Painting sets is hardly the most interesting thing in the world. And at any rate, don't you have lines to learn? I'm sure I can do that while painting. And you'll be here to help me out, right? It's win-win. <sighs> well, if you're that dead set on helping me, I suppose I shouldn't dissuade you. Uh, thank you, Rosie. <gasps> he said my name. No problem. Let's get cracking before the sun sets completely, shall we? I don't know, Rhett. I'm sure this will be more fun for me than you'd just expect. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. I will not fail. Tis twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. I shall forget to have thee still stand there, remembering how I love thy company. Hmm. You really are coming along quite well. I might not have made a huge mistake casting you as Juliet after all, Beret. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. <sighs> I do envy you in a way. I'd much rather be memorizing lines than directing. Huh? Really? And here I thought you liked ordering people about. Hmm. <laughs> Enjoyable though that is. I joined the drama club in the first place because I wanted to act. I'm not planning on pursuing a career in the theater, so this year was going to be my last chance to perform, but... When Ellen, the previous president, offered me the position at the end of last year, I figured I'd be a fool to turn it down, what with my Oxford application to think about. I suppose it'll all be worth it in the end. <sighs> my apologies, Bray. We were rehearsing, weren't we? Ah, uh, no problem. If you really want to act, though, I'm sure you can give yourself a part, can't you? That would be slightly self-serving, I'm afraid. I wouldn't want to abuse my power. But, uh, if you're ever in need of a partner to rehearse with, Beret, you know my number. I don't know what expertise I can offer, but... Ah, sure. That would be great, Rhett. Thanks. Hmm. Huh. I'm beginning to think old Sugden's a nicer guy than he lets on. I thought a teacher was meant to be in charge of the drama club anyway. Hmm. That's a good point, actually. That is actually a fair point. I wonder why that is. Oh, hey, isn't it Shupin's birthday? No, we're not doing that. It's Valentine's Day! So you know who we gonna call. <sighs> Movie date or park date? Hmm. Let's go to the park. Fortunately, I wore my elegant clothing last time, so I can't wear that again. Alright, let's go skating on the lake. Ah! Something new's happening. Huh. <sighs> huh. <sighs> I think that was pretty good, right? I must admit, Beret, I'm slightly impressed. That wasn't half bad. I dare say I have nothing else to teach you. Huh. Well, thanks. <sighs> I suppose my work here is done. Well, you know, I don't know if I'm quite ready to go it alone yet. There's always more to learn, right? I mean, if you're willing to teach me. Hmm. I suppose your turns were a little off. I'm not completely averse to teaching you some more, if you're willing. <laughs> I think Red's enjoying the skating thing more than he's letting on. But how did he get so good? Will we ever find that out? Ah, the va- the, I was gonna say Vampire Day? Oh boy. Uh, brain, please work. Valentine's Day. Walk me to my home. Day. Night. Scene. 
Bleh. Uh, you really didn't need to walk me all the way home. Isn't your house a few more stops on the train? Hmm. I wouldn't worry about it. At any rate, it's best you don't travel alone tonight of all nights. You never know who might be skulking about. Anyway. Here. Nice segue. Huh? What's this? Oh, is this a Valentine's gift by any chance? I wouldn't have thought you were into this sort of thing, Rhett. Hm. Well, it's nothing major. I wouldn't want you to go without after all. I doubt anyone else went to the trouble. Oi! I'll have you know I'm practically swimming in Valentine's chocolate, thank you very much. Hm. I suppose I'll have to take your word for it. Uh, have a good evening, Beret. Same to you. Valentine's Gifts by Moonlight. Sucked in, you sly dog. We keep calling him that. Let's see what's in this thing anyway. It's a shame to ruin the paper, though. It's actually really pretty. Who knew Rhett was capable, eh? He has, like, five sisters. I'm sure they helped. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's perfect from him. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, their little fruit's made of marzipan. A slightly unusual choice, but I like it. I'll try not to eat them all at once. That's very creative. I like that. Good job, Mr. Sugden. Good job. Quite impressed with you, really. Okay, we're almost at the part where we have to stop raising our stats. Oh, I can't believe it's nearly that time already. This year has really flown by. I know. It's worth a think we'll really all be leaving come May. I don't feel anywhere near old enough for uni. You two ready for the end of the year yet? I've already got my dress picked out. Uh, we have to buy end of year dresses? What sort of expensive tradition is that? Ah, uh, no. She's talking about the Leavers Ball. I'm surprised you haven't heard about it already, Rosie. She's been going on about it all year. With good reason. It's what makes this whole long year worthwhile. Huh, maybe for you. But I don't even own a dress. I still think it's pretty sexist you had to turn up in one at all, to be honest. I think I'll end up having to borrow one of my aunts. Heh, <laughs> I'm all for it, me. If they let girls turn up in suits, you'd only get boys showing up in dresses. And it'd be the end of society as we knew it. Anyway, the ball's not until the 15th of May anyway, so you've got bags of time to figure out how to look presentable, right? I'm only bringing it up now because it's open day next Tuesday, and all the upper six classes are putting on fundraisers to raise money for it. The cheapness of this bloody school never fails to astound me. I don't know. I think it makes it even more special somehow, knowing it's all been done through money we've raised. Plus, the events are usually pretty fun. Do you know what your class is doing? Ugh, it's pancake day, so some bright spark decided we should make pancakes here at school. I can tell it's not going to end well. Also, I can't cook to save my life, so I nominated Rosie to be on pancake duty. H hey I don't know anything about cooking either. Yeah, there's nothing to it. You'll be fine. I'll be too busy waitressing to help you out, but I'm sure you can handle it, right? Sorry, Rosie. I'd help you, but I'm pretty sure they'll have me showing parents around like I had to last year. I'm sure you'll do fine, though. Hardly anyone ever turns up for these things anyway. Uh, I think. Oh, looks like I don't really have much choice. I guess it could be pretty fun. That's the spirit. But making pancakes in the classroom? I'm sure that breaks pretty much every health and safety rule, even without letting me lose with pans and hot oil. Honestly. Alright, fitness is the last thing. Okay, and then we just do studying from here on out. The weekend at last. Let's go out to the arcade today. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I don't want to raise those things up over 130. Eh, that's okay. We'll just study. When we have to relax, the stats will go down and it'll be fine. Gah, have I even got everything? Butter, spatula. And what are these people doing here already? We haven't even set up yet. I get the feeling they're setting themselves up for disappointment. Oh, stop complaining. Think of all the money we'll end up making if all these moochers actually buy something. 
It's almost a shame it'll all be going towards the ball. Well, most of it anyway. Left in as much alcohol as I can carry. And here I thought you were in it for the dancing and ball gowns and whatnot. Hey, there's nothing that goes on at these things that can't be done with a few shots of vodka in you. And besides, it'll be our leavers ball, our prom. Gotta celebrate somehow, right? I guess that's one way of thinking about it. Anyway, I should carry on setting up. You get that pan warmed up. They'll be piling in any time now, I can feel it. Wow, I'm surprised as many people bothered showing up, to be honest. It's hard to imagine any of the other stalls could possibly be worse than ours. Oh, how many making pancakes could be this stressful, eh? I'd never survive in one of those industrial kitchens. Oh, you still came, lamb. Rosie, you're looking the worst for wear. Oh, hey, lamb. Ah, oh, don't mind me. I'm just taking a breather. What have you been up to? Not much. The drama club has been running workshops. It was actually surprisingly fun teaching the little ones to act. It does wear on you very quickly, however. Tell me about it. I'm sure running a pancake stall isn't half as difficult, but I'm practically dead on my feet. Hmm. I hope you aren't too tired to make another batch. Pancakes are about the only thing being sold on this floor I could actually stomach eating. Ah, sure. That's what I'm here for, after all. What can I get you? Hmm. You have strawberries, yes? I'd like those in all three, but one with sugar and one with cream, and I suppose chocolate for the last one. Wow, you're going to eat all that? Not that I'm judging. Of course not. I promised my friends I would bring some back. But even if I were, I wouldn't judge others too harshly, Rosie. After all, fruit and eggs and flour? Those are all healthy, aren't they? Uh, never mind. Three pancakes coming right up. At least I can cook them all perfectly. Strawberries and sugar. Sounds simple. Strawberries and sugar. Strawberries and sugar. Don't forget it's strawberries and sugar. Ba doop ba doop do. Okay. Strawberries and sugar. Done. Good, good. Strawberries and cream. Thank goodness for Lamb keeping things simple for a change. It's a nice change of pace, really. Okay. Strawberries and cream. And strawberries and chocolate. There's no way I can mess this up unless I click done prematurely. That would be bad. Nearly there. Nearly there. Okay. Strawberries and chocolate. Done. Better take these out to lamb. And done. I hope they turned out okay. Hmm. Yes, they do look quite nice, Rosie. You should have more confidence in your work. Ah, oh, really? Thanks. I won't know until I taste them, of course, but I'll be sure to send you more customers from the drama club if I get the chance. Send right, right up, please. Uh, that's all right. I was kind of enjoying the break, to be honest. Ah, oh, the price of talent. Ugh, looks like this place is finally beginning to die down. Can't say I'm looking forward to cleaning up, but... Hmm. I wonder if I'd have time to pop down to the drama club. Knowing Rhett, I'm sure he's been working all through lunch, too. Maybe he'd appreciate a nice pancake made with love by yours truly. Couldn't hurt, I guess. But what should I put in it? I don't even know what he likes. Or if he even likes pancakes, for that matter. But hey, it's the thought that counts, right? He likes healthy things, so... We'll make sure it's done perfectly, not overcooked. And maybe just fruit? We'll try that. Just strawberry and lemon. Let's hope. Yeah, I'm sure he'll like this one. 
please like this one. Now for a few finishing touches, a nice napkin, and done. I think it turned out okay, by my standards at least. Oh boy, I'm so nervous. Hmm, this place is pretty deserted. Maybe he took a break after all. I guess I could just leave it somewhere, but I wouldn't want to get in cold after all the work I put in. Hmm. What are you doing down here, Beret? Merle tells me your class is running a stall. I'd have thought you'd be too busy for sightseeing. Well, I have been pretty busy, but this isn't a social call. I just came down here to give you this, then it's right back to the grindstone, I'm afraid. Hmm. No rest for the wicked, I see. Ah, uh, what is this? It's a pancake, obviously. What with it being pancake day and all. I figured you'd probably be so busy working yourself to the bone down here that you'd miss out on our wonderful stall, and we can't have that, so I brought you a free sample. And you, uh, you made this. With my own two hands. Hmm. <laughs> well, in that case, I'd best not. I value my health, after all. Ho ho. You'd better at least have a taste. I put my soul into that. Well, since you went to all this trouble, I suppose I had better. Uh, thank you, Beret. Would you care to join me? Eh? Really? I wouldn't want to eat at all. There's not much there to begin with. You'd be doing me a favor. I still don't quite trust it, I'm afraid. But if you're willing to try some, I suppose there's nothing to fear. Hmm. Just for that, I'm taking the biggest half. To pancake, or not to pancake, this is the question. So, what do you think? I must say, I'm actually rather impressed, Beret. I had assumed I wouldn't like it. Hmm. Oh, ye of little faith. Is it really that hard to believe that I might be a decent cook? Hmm. That wasn't a jab at your cooking ability, Beret. I only meant that I assumed it would be sweeter, and I'm not generally a fan of that sort of thing. But it seems you know my taste quite well. Boom! Nailed it! Huh. Well, I'm glad you like it. Keep this up and I might just make more. I should have guessed. He even likes his pancakes as healthy as possible. Nailed it every day! Boop, 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 boop.